Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today. I'm gonna to be teaching you how to download and install the Quark mod in Minecraft 1.15.2. We're gonna be going over every single step of getting the Quark mod downloaded, installed, set up, running, everything, all in Minecraft 1.15.2. First and foremost though, what even is this mod? What is the Quark mod? Well, it is a pretty cool mod that adds a ton of stuff. So if we come down here, we can click on Quick or Quark website, excuse me, and then it takes us off to their official website where you can click on this feature list to see how many features there are. And there's a lot of them. As you can see, everything from automation to building to client side features to management to mobs, tools, tweaks, world, everything. Tons of different options here. As you can see, automation options there. And then there are, of course, building options. You got cobblestone bricks, compressed blocks, golden bars, right? As you can see, like golden there, like iron bars. Awesome stuff there. Cool little iron plate blocks, lit lamps, all sorts of cool stuff. Even pillars. That's pretty cool. And then we also do have mobs as well. That's one I want to mention because you've got crabs, foxhounds, frogs added to Minecraft. I think called stone links, which was pretty cool. And then tortoise, tortoises, 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 what tortoises. So yeah, tons and tons and tons of stuff that we have here on this mod. And there's a camera mode. I mean, tons of stuff. So we're going to be getting Quark downloaded and installed today. So let's go ahead and do it. But first, we do have mention our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DNOS in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you were looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown .xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Quark. The first thing you want to do is come to this page. This is the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the official download page for the Quark mod, and to download it, just come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.15. Under that, you'll see a version of the Quark mod. Click on the purple download button to the right of that. It'll then take you off to a page where after a few seconds your download will begin. Now you will need to keep this file. So as you can see, downloading now, downloads in the bottom left. You will need to keep this file, like I said, so you can click keep here on Google Chrome. However, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop up in the center of your screen and you'll need to save the file. Now we aren't done just yet. The Quark mod does require the Auto Reg library, basically a library mod, to make this mod work with Minecraft, right? So what we want to do is come in here. This is going to be the, I think, third link or fourth link down below, and it's going to take you here. This is the Auto Reg lib official download page. As you can see, mods that use this, Quark. So boom, we're on the right page there. Come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down again. Again, find that Minecraft 1.15 version. Find the version right under that, and then click on that purple download button again to the right of it. Your download, of course, will begin after five seconds. And of course, we will need to keep this file in the bottom left. As you can see, we'll need to keep it. It's 100% safe to keep it. It says auto reg library in the title, so we're good. You also need to save this to the center of your screen if you're on Mozilla Firefox. And there's one more final thing we need to download, and that is this. This is Forge. Forge is the mod loader that basically allows the mods to load into Minecraft and work correctly. So you can go to, I think, the fourth link down below. It's linked in the description. And come here. This is our official tutorial on getting Forge. We're going to be going through it in this video. However, this tutorial can help you out if you do have any issues. Once you're here, click on this green download Forge button. That's going to take you off to Forge's official website where we want to make sure that MC 1.15.2 is in fact selected. If it is, we are good to go. If it doesn't say MC 1.15.2 here, no worries. Click on 1.15 on the left hand side. Click on 1.15.2. MC 1.15.2 will appear there. And then you can come under download latest and click on the installer button. It will then take us off to add focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page. Not a single thing. Stop. What are you doing? Don't click a thing. I said don't click anything. Nope. Your download is not ready. It is lying to you. Your download is not ready. Don't click anything. All you want to do on this page is wait six seconds and then this red skip button will appear in the top right. Click on that red skip button and in the bottom left it will download Forge, right? It should say Forge in the title and if it does, click keep. If it doesn't, click discard and then click skip in the top right so Forge can download. Now Mozilla Firefox, same thing, is going to pop in the center of your screen. You'll need to save the file as long as it says Forge and you're safe to do so. So. As long as it says Forge, you are safe to do so. So there we go. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser now. And here on desktop, we have the Quark mod. We have the Auto Reg library, which is required for this mod. And then we have Forge. Now, we're going to be starting off with Forge, but what if these aren't on your desktop? Well, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. And to find that, click on the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, but it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Then when you click on that, go ahead and type in downloads, right like so. And then have this downloads file folder. Go ahead and take these mods from your downloads folder and drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we can go ahead and get started off by installing Forge. Now, if your files look different from this, just wait a second, right? It's okay if they don't look like Java logos, but if they do, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on open with, 
click on Java and then this should open. However, what if you click on Java and it doesn't work? Or alternatively, what if you don't have Java at all as an option, right? As you can see, we have Java TM Platform SE Binary. Or what if you don't have that as an option at all? Or like I said, what if these don't even look like these Java files? Well, no worries, we have a solution, and that solution is right here. This is our tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. It goes over every single step of getting the correct version of Java needed to run Minecraft mods without an issue. So come here, download this, run it, and you will be good to go. However, if you are still having issues, if you are still having trouble running those jar files, or they still don't look like jar files on your computer, we have one more thing, and that's the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them together with Java, once again, bringing them together and making all those jar files work with Java. So run this if you're still having issues after you get Java installed. Now, finally, we can right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. That will then open the Mod System Installer here. And then you want to click on Install Client, right? Once you've done that, click OK, and it will go through and install Forge into Minecraft. So it's going through, it's downloading what it needs to download, it's setting up what it needs to set up, and it is installing Forge officially in Minecraft 1.15.2. Now you'll still be able to play Minecraft without Forge, but this will allow you to play it with Forge if you choose to. So there we go, successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.15.2 into Launcher Awesome. So we can go ahead and click OK there. Now it's time to get the Quark and Auto Reg Library mods installed. You can drag this over to the side if you want, but we want to get these installed. So Quark and the Auto Reg Library. How do we do this? Well, we actually need to open up the Minecraft launcher. Just the normal Minecraft launcher here. And then once you're here, we want to click on the little arrow to the bottom left of the Minecraft launcher, and then click on this Forge profile. It should say 1.15.2-Forge under it, and if it does, click play. But what if you don't have that Forge profile? Or what if you do, this is more likely, what if you do and it doesn't say 1.15.2-Forge under it? What if it says 1.12.2-Forge? Well, that's not correct. It needs to say 1.15.2. How do we fix that? Well, we're going to click on this Installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft. Then we're going to click on this plus new button. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, I'm going to name it that because that is our incredible Minecraft server. We have a survival, skyblock, and factions. The best faction server in the world. I promise you that. The best survival servers in the world. I promise you that. And the best skyblock server in the world. I promise you that. Our faction server has custom enchantments. 1.8 PvP. 1.8 native, actually. Ratings encouraged. We've got custom factions upgrades. We've got custom crates. We've got incredible voting rewards. We have got custom profession job setups. It's absolutely incredible. And then on top of that, we do have Survival, which is a medieval survival server with 30 custom quests and a player-based economy. Our aquatic survival server with a slash shop-based economy. And then Skyblock with OP enchantments, fence generators, 1.8 PvP, awesome island upgrades, and so, so much more. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on this version drop-down box here. And then in here, you'll see release 1.15.2-Forge. Mine's right up here at the top, but you might have to scroll to find yours. But right here it is, Minecraft 1.15.2-Forge. Forge. Click on that. We're also going to change our resolution here. You don't have to, but I'm going to do that. The most important thing for you is actually setting release 1.15.2-Forge here. Then go ahead and click Create. And then you'll have this new profile here at the bottom, play.breakdowncraft.com. It says 1.15.2-Forge under it. So we can hover over that and then click on that green play button there. Now Minecraft is going to open up and we can get the Quark mod installed. From this point, it's pretty simple to get this mod installed. You just basically need to drag and drop it. That's simple as that. So at this point, we're going to go ahead, let Minecraft open up. And then once it is opened up, we will get these mods set up, installed, and up and running. Let's go ahead and move them up so you all can see them there. But yeah, very, very simple to install this mod. Very cool mod. This is a feature-packed mod, in my opinion. Great to see it on 1.15.2 now as well. So once you're on the Minecraft main menu, what we want to do here is go on this Mods tab. And then over here on the left-hand side, you should have Minecraft and Forge. Awesome. But what you want to do to get these mods installed is click on the Open Mods folder button down here in the bottom left. When you do, it's going to obviously open up your mods folder. Then you want to take the Quark mod and the Auto Reg Library mod, both of these you downloaded earlier, drag them from your desktop into your mods folder here. Now, they're not going to appear. They're, they're not. You can do anything you want. You can click all these buttons. You can click Done, click Mods again. It's never going to appear here until you quit Minecraft, open up the Minecraft launcher. This time, though, you don't have to worry about doing any of that fancy stuff. Click on the little arrow here to the next to the play button. Select either the profile you created or that Forge profile, whichever says 1.15.2-Forge on it. And then go ahead and click on that green play button. Now when Minecraft's opening, you'll be able to see something pretty cool here. As you can see, it loaded or completed the deep scan of the Auto Ridge library and the Quark mod. That is awesome. That means they're recognized. And I mean, at this point, we know they're going to work, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to work, but they're going to work, right? So there you go. We have those set up. 
It's now loading up Minecraft, getting everything working, getting those mods installed and saying, whoa, there's a lot of stuff in this Quark mod, that's pretty cool. And then it's going to open up to the Minecraft main menu. So now if we click on the mods tab here, we'll be able to see the auto reg library and Quark are in fact installed. So there we go. And then we can go ahead and of course, jump into a single player world. We're just gonna name this Quark mod. And I always like going creative because it's easier. I'm gonna generate this world and I'll see you after a quick jump cut. So here we are in a new world here. We're obviously in a jungle biome. Let's get up here. One thing, there is the seed because everybody always likes to know the seeds there. So there's that. However, let's go ahead and see if uh, what we can get from this mod. So one of the things I'm noticing here is we don't have like, you know, a creative tab to be able to easily get to things. And that means I'm going to basically suggest you download just enough items. There's a link in the video description as well as at the, at the top of your screen on how to do that. But let's go ahead and search some things up here. So let's see if we can get some spawn eggs. I wonder if the custom mobs here have any spawn eggs. Yep, we got tortoises here. We've got frog. We've got crab. There we go. So we've got some of these custom mobs to spawn in. So we've got obviously frogs there. Those look, that, that, that's disturbing to see, to be honest. Are there baby frogs? Is that there are baby frogs? All right. We've got crabs and we have baby crabs. Look at that. Pretty cool stuff. And then we do have the whatever this is wrapped spawn it or yeah so some sort of a zombie variant and then there is also the tortoises those are massive wow let's see here can we get a baby tortoise spawned in there or are they just like wow that's crazy maybe there are no baby tortoises that's that's what i'm picking up here anyway there is that so there are the custom mobs that's just one of the cool features there are tons and tons of features of this mod so let's see what's something else that this mod adds there are some custom stone blocks, for example. So if we scroll all the way down here, we can see we've got this limestone stuff as well as the, uh, you know, like smooth soul sand. We've got lit redstone lamps, brimstone bricks. This stuff looks really cool, actually. We've got all these different, you know, modded items here that we can spawn in and check out. So all sorts of cool stuff there. Different pillars, different stone walls, like vertical slabs. Like how cool is that? You can actually like have a vertical slab and build a true wall in Minecraft, if you wanted to. It seems to not be, let's see, we can place these correctly, there we go. So as you can see, you can actually have a wall and have a half block there, look at that, that's awesome. And then I'm guessing, let's see, yeah, you can actually make it a full block because they are true slabs. So awesome stuff there, tons and tons and tons of features that this mod has. Luckily, I showed you that feature list on the front end of this video, and you can see all the different features there from uh, from that video. But overall, awesome mod, so much that I can't even remember what was all in here. There's a camera mode, for example, so as you can see, we can press Q. In-game configuration in newer versions of the game, it's not currently possible for, uh, for Quark. That's interesting to know. So you can open the config folder. Uh, you'll have to find the quarkcommon.toml and open it. This is a text file, so you should be able to open it with any text editor. Awesome, so you can click open file here. It's gonna open up this, and then what you wanna do is scroll down until you find, let's see, let's see, quarkcommon.toml. So this is a toml file. You should be able to open it with notepad, just normal notepad, but it's gonna open up with my text editor because that's just how things work. <laughs> if you want this text editor, it is adam, adam.io. But yeah, as you can see, you can change everything in here. So enable the Q button, for example, all the way down to like automation, world, tweaks, all the different stuff. If you don't want the custom mobs, if you do want the custom mobs, all of that is in here. It's all configurable all easily changeable and very very easy to read in my opinion so very very awesome and easy to set up config file you can pretty much change everything about the mod in that and that is awesome so there you go there's that if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week enjoy the awesome quark mod there is so much that this mod adds i can't wait to see what you all do with it in game but anyway my name is nick again this has been the breakdown thank you so so much for watching and i'm out peace